There he is. Jacob, what's up, man? Thanks for joining us. Hey, thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Where are you right now? Uh, I'm in uh, bright and sunny Rapid City, South Dakota at uh, Grandma and Grandpa Sullivan's house right now. Beautiful. Ah, mm -hmm. the uh, tourist destination, South Dakota. For all of you Europeans, not Americans, it's uh, one of the most popular destinations uh, to go joke. visit. <laughs> Thanks, Shouse. That's my joke clarifier right there. <laughs> South Dakota. That's Do not go there. <laughs> Jacob, uh, I think the question on everyone's mind, first and foremost, I mean, you had a lot of success in Frankfurt. You were the first ever ELF champion, kind of been the face of that franchise. You've moved on. You signed with Berlin, the Berlin Thunder. Why? Why Why was it the right time for you to leave? Why was Berlin the right choice? Talk to us. Yeah, uh, a lot of different reasons. You know, I think uh, for, for myself and for Frankfurt, it was a good three years. Uh, we accomplished a lot of things, and uh, the last two years, obviously, we didn't we didn't win the championship, which was tough. Um, and you know, at some point, you have to move on. You have to try new things. You have to go for a new adventure. And um, this was a year, I think, for for myself and for Frankfurt that it was the right time, obviously. And uh, when I started talking to Berlin, it was okay. Wait, let me track back for a second. I'm getting old, so at this point, <laughs> I'm uh, <laughs> I'm really looking for for a good situation for myself and for the future and. Um, you know, I want to win a championship again, of course, and Berlin has checked all of those boxes for me and in terms of what I believe can develop this next season and in the future. And man, when I went to Berlin, I visited uh, obviously the, the owner group, some of the teammates. Um, yeah, it just felt right, you know, and at, at, that at some point, you know, football's the same and you just want to be surrounded by, by good people, good organization. Mm -hmm. and, and I found that pretty quickly in Berlin. And man, I'm really excited. So. Hey, Jacob, can you talk to us about that conversation you had with Frankfurt when they decided we're going to go a separate way? How did you feel in that moment? Yeah, I felt, uh, how do I say it? I felt thankful for what I had done there and for what they had done for me, giving me the opportunity to come to, to, come to the Euro, uh, European League of Football. Um, yeah, and then I was ready to, to move forward and onto the next step, you know. It's tough because... The toughest thing for me is Frankfurt has been such a great place for me because I've built a lot of great relationships, uh, met a lot of great people, and that's always tough, man. You know, I'm a mm -hmm. I'm a family guy, so for me that's really tough. You know, three years in a place that that was originally foreign for me that quickly became home, um, and then I had to to realize that I was going to have to leave a lot of my friendships, a lot of the relationships that I created there. That was tough, man. I'm not going to lie. So I called a lot of my friends right away and I said. Damn, boys, we might be a little farther apart next year. Um, mm -hmm. But, you know, that's that's part of the deal. And that's what that the beautiful thing about Europe is it is it is way it's it's a close knit family, you know, no matter where you go. And uh, so right now I know I know that I have people everywhere in Europe that support me, that I support as well. So I'm, I'm excited to watch uh, a lot of my close friends play as well next year and um, go from there. But, but yeah, it was it was tough at first. But, you know, man, at some point. Tough decisions have to be made for you, um, and they might suck for a little bit. But then at the end of the day, you know it's the right decision uh, for for myself and for you know my family. And um, I'm I'm just excited for the new opportunity and to to prove myself right. You know. Yeah, absolutely, man. And um, obviously, you ended up in Berlin. Um, I imagine some other teams were interested in you. Uh, were after you, especially with what you've put up on the field these last couple of years. Um, were there any other teams in play? And why was it specifically Berlin that you chose to end up at? Yeah, I mean, there were there were some other teams in play, of course. Um, you know, another team that I was really talking to was like Stuttgart, for example. Um, and I was really excited about about Stuttgart. And it was like basically between Stuttgart and Berlin pretty quickly. I, I, I narrowed it down. And um, yeah, I, you know, I felt really comfortable in Berlin. And for me comfortability is so important second guess anything so when i went to berlin it just felt right you know I, I hung out with a lot of the teammates there or my potential teammates at the time um and yeah i, I just want to be surrounded by good people man and that's that's my main goal and i know um stuttgart was in the championship game last year and that was great and um, um i thought that was a good thing for them and they're gonna have a great season this this next season i know um but berlin was also a playoff team and uh we we played them of course and and i felt what they what they did on the field and um and i know that i could make them better as well um and yeah, I, I love Berlin's mindset, man. They're 
I think I'm going to fit in perfect there. And that's why, that's why I signed. And that's why I'm excited to, to take that next step with them. Awesome, man. And, uh, quite notably you wear number seven, uh, Berlin has had a prominent number seven wear Robin Wilczek for the last few years. He ended yeah. up giving up the Jersey number and giving it to you. Uh, can you talk a little bit about that process? Was it, uh, was it hard for him to give it up? Was it easy? How did that go? How did, did you come to him straight away and say, I need this man or how did it go down? Yeah. So, uh, to be honest, I didn't really, I didn't tell him like, Hey man, I need the number. I need this to, to come or anything like that. I just, uh, he, they, I think actually Bjorn knew and he kind of, him and Robin maybe talked about it a little bit because I know they're really close. And then when I went to visit Berlin, we went to uh, a little hockey game. And funny enough, side story, they were playing Frankfurt. Uh, oh. And they, they ended up beating Frankfurt, which was funny. Mm. And, and at, <laughs> at that hockey game, uh, um, Robin gave me a, you know, a rap, a rap present. And he just got up and he's like, hey, man, you know, again, wherever you go, football is football. Um, what matters most is to the guys you surround yourself with. And, you know, I think it'd be a really great situation for you to come here. You know, we want you here. And to show you that, like, I got you a gift. And, he, you know, I unwrap the gift. You know, it's a Sullivan 7 jersey. A Berlin Sullivan 7 jersey. I was like, damn, that's a pretty important thing. That's that he would just openly give it to me. And I thought that was pretty cool. Maybe I'm in my back. I think I had a little disconnection. You're back. You're, yeah, you're back. There you're we good. go. I'm still in. Easy. Easy. So he gave me the jersey. And at that point, you know, um, that made the decision really easy for me because, like I said, I based my decision off people I want to be around. And he made me feel comfortable. And shit, here I am. <laughs> there you go, man. That's pretty awesome. And, I mean, you've got a couple a couple great receivers up there with Robin, uh, who you just talked about, as well as Jackson. Um, and uh, so you got some good weapons there. We're, we're really excited to see what you do up there in Berlin, man. We appreciate mm -hmm. you joining us on the show all the way from South Dakota. Jacob Sullivan, one of the uh, OGs of the ELF, moving on to a new team this season, man. Appreciate it. Hey. Enjoy your time at home. Yeah, Silas, go ahead. My my final question to you, Jacob, what would you uh, say to the people out there who are worried about you, your health this year? I know you had an injury last year. Yeah. Um, understandable. You know, the last two years were, were a little injury ridden, uh, unfortunately. But uh, but no, I'm here in, in South Dakota working my ass off right now. Oh, sorry. I don't know if I can cuss. Yeah, you can uh, curse. It's, your, it's European. I'm, I'm working. You can cuss. <laughs> True. I'm working my butt off here. Uh, I got my two little brothers pushing me and, you know, I'm doing the right things right now to, to create that stability and yeah, to, to finish off the season and, and win that championship. And I was just wrestling with the two, the two younger boys yesterday to to show them who the older brother is still. And I feel good today. I'm not too sore. My neck feels fine. I feel okay. <laughs> and good. Yeah. That's a, it's a good sign for me. <laughs> that's great. Fantastic. But yeah, thanks for having awesome. me, guys. Yeah. yeah, appreciate you coming on, man. Good luck this year. Enjoy your time at home. Have a good Christmas. And uh, we'll see you in 2024 in Berlin. Good luck, Jacob. Uh, to houses.